Hey guys, so welcome back to Yakuza 4. Let's carry on where we left off. It's so nice to finally speak without my throat going on fire. So we can proceed with the story at long last. We've left Saijima behind. He had a nice reunion with Majima over the batting cages. Uh, looks like they've buried the hatchet from uh, what I could tell. And we also saw how Majima lost his eye. So that was pleasant. What a great story to share with your friend after meeting him for 25 years. Uh... <laughs> We've got a cop ahead. I don't have to be afraid of them anymore because I am one of them. Look at me. Aren't I a dashing fellow? Can't quite see my badge, though. I assume it's just in my jacket pocket. Hi. Since I can speak with the police. Uh, don't mind me. I don't mean to be a creep just standing over your shoulder while you look around side to side. We're on special patrol. Get a move on if you don't have any business here. Okay, thanks. Jeez. Sorry I'm stepping on your toes. Is this your jurisdiction? Uh, Mahjong Parlor is just around the corner, so let's go ahead and proceed, but so many people to speak with. I really want to talk to that guy who just phased halfway through the wall, though. Damn it. I can't believe I lost again. What? More Mahjong? Where at? Orchid Palace? Yeah. I was there all night playing, but I got completely cleaned out. I'm still in shock. Oh, I see. But you're just gonna go right back to it, aren't you? Yeah. You know how it is. Gambling addiction. Terrible thing break the cycle, I don't know how to do it. I'll probably get the urge to play again in another two or three days. That's like me with Tekken, you know, I'll rage quit after a terrible rank session and uh, come back three days later for more <laughs> and uh, suffer all over again. You okay there, buddy? I'm interested to see how uh, our character's gonna fight this time. We've had two distinct styles with Akiyama and his legs and then Saijima and his tanky arms. That Mahjong parlor over there is holding a tournament called the Four Gods Cup. It's a contest to crown the best Mahjong player in Kamurocho. You should enter if you feel up to the challenge. Oh, uh, well, you know. <laughs> when it comes to completing the completion list, maybe. Uh, I don't even know if there's an achievement for it in this one, because it wasn't in Yakuza 3, but uh, I had to play all the minigames all the same. And I'm assuming I have to do so here, too. Have you ever tried it out? Actually, I have. But I never managed to make it beyond the bottom pool. The competition is really fierce. Well, yeah, you're fighting against four gods, I can only imagine. Uh, alright. Well, let's go inside. Typically, don't come in here during my, uh, Let's Plays. They happen afterwards, where I waste my time trying to get specific hands <laughs> to make sure I win. Hi. Excuse me. Oh, Tiny Morrison. Here to play Mahjong again today? No, not today. Can you tell me which members were here in the shop when I was playing here yesterday? Well, there was one person I wasn't familiar with. There were probably someone who came here for the first time yesterday. The other members were those two regulars who are playing over there. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Thanks. You're very welcome. Did something happen? Yeah, someone fucking narked on me, man. Uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, alright. I've got plenty to worry about already. I'm an old man. Okay. Hi. Hey, you got a minute? Oh, Tiny Morrison. Back to do some more damage? No, I'm here to find the snitch. And it better not be you. Snitch? Oh, what are you talking about? Save it. The chief said someone filed a complaint about yesterday. Oh, come on, Tiny Morrison. That wasn't the first time I lost a major chunk of change to you. If I was gonna snitch, I would have done it a long time ago. Uh, maybe that's why you're throwing me off, you know? You're trying to establish a rep of not snitching, and then you go ahead and do it behind my back. Plus, I don't even want to know what you'd do to me if I did. Right? Right, guys? <laughs> back me up here! Ah, uh, sure. I can always earn back the cash you roll me for. The damage you would do would probably be a lot more permanent. You got that right. Oh, but what about that other guy at the other table? I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. Yeah, you seem more like he was hurting for money. Bet he was hurting even more after you dropped it and steamrolled us. Huh. All I'm learning is that I should play Mahjong with this guy, and uh, I should have a, like, a, uh, a luck buff. <laughs> huh. So where is he now? Oh, he's, uh... Wait a second. What? Tell me, Morsan. Tell me if I'm wrong, but this is an official police business, is it? So why should we give away this information for free? Uh, because I won't break your nose. Hey, you're right. This is the perfect chance to recoup some of our losses from yesterday. Oh, come on. You, guys, you're shaking me down? I'm I'm the police. I do the shakedowns. Well, what's it gonna be? 
All right, fine. Let me throw my little tantrum by stumping the floor. Name your price. I won't ask much. Like I said, I don't have a death wish. How about two silver plates? They give those out as prizes here, so that should be simple enough. You really want to stick it to me that bad, huh? Fine. Silver plates it is. <laughs> Thanks, officer. You just want to win something for once, so I don't care how you get them. The easiest way is to win or buy enough mahjong sticks and exchange them at the prize count. Probably. Two silver... Are you kidding me? Do I need to beat people up all over town? Uh... Oh. A key. Maybe there's one in the locker. Or maybe there's some at the pawn shop. There's no way I'm playing my jog to start off part three. Good God. I'm leaving. Hey. Can you give me uh, two silver plates on the house, please? Hey, I heard you're in need of some prizes. Yeah. Two silver plates. Can you give them to me? Sorry, no can do. However, you can get them by exchanging sticks. So you can either win a few games of Mahjong or buy the sticks yourself. If you just can't manage to win at Mahjong, feel free to buy sticks and exchange them as is. Hmm. Oh, now that I think of it, Tanimura-san, the shop next door sells fake silver plates. Whatever do they use them for? <laughs> Nothing. You just sell it to them to get some money. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know freaking what? I'm gonna play some Mahjong. It's immediate. You wanna play a game of Mahjong, man? Gotta have 25,000 sticks on you. Buy them over at the desk. Damn it. Fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I really doing this? Yeah, you, you know what? Let's go. I'm going all in. I'll take 25,000 sticks. Perfect. I'm gonna win. Watch me. It's gonna be fantastic. Or should I go advanced? No, I don't think I've got enough. Here we go! Alright! Lady and gentlemen, Godly Kazia. Jeez. Alright. Um, well, first, get rid of this. I can't believe I'm doing this. Then we get rid of, uh... Let's get rid of the dragon tiles. I don't think we need them. Definitely don't need the wind. Compelling gameplay this is. I know you're all just itching to see me win. Uh, no, we're not going to be um, pawning off any tiles from other people. Uh, let's get rid of the nine. No wind. Seven, eight. Perfect. Uh, ooh. Yeah, let's get rid of the six. Beachy. Oh, oh shit! Someone's already called Richie. No need for the green dragons, they're all expanded. Oh. I'm gonna call Richie myself. Thank you very much. Uh, I need either a. Is that a. That's a seven, right? Oh, it was an eight, sorry. Or a dragon towel. Yes! Beach! Okay, that's not as hype as when, as when uh, Kiryu does it. Oh, you got lucky. You got lucky! Okay, another Richie. I just need a seven. Where, where's, the, where's the cool ass music that plays when I call a Richie, damn it? Alright, come on. I want to call a Ron. I want to ruin someone's day. Please. Oh, no, not you again. No, God, everyone's calling Richie. Please. Just let me win. The tiles are... Gotcha. Fuck you. <laughs> Where'd you go wrong? You played Mahjong against me. Okay. Oh, we made our sticks back and then some. Another Richie with only seven tiles remaining. Oh, we've got so many chances on this front, but doesn't look like people are spending those tiles. Whereas here, has anyone dropped the six before? One and two fours remaining. I'm going for it. Surely no one else has got two fours. Oh, 
Damn it! It's a draw. But, I don't think I'd lose anything yet. There we go. Another thousand sticks. Jeez, Michino. Can you stop calling Pawn? That's not how you win the game, alright? At least according to the Cyrix Game Facts Guide of how to win at Mahjong. <laughs> Never mind, she won. Jeez. On the last tile, too. Oh, we're back to square one. Are you kidding me? Oh, look how many freaking pawns this guy called, too. Old triplet hand, east door, this guy rubbed me blind! <laughs> oh god, I hate my dog so much. Alright, Richie, come on. The comeback starts here. Awesome. I get a bonus for that, right? Like, it's the ne very next turn after I called Richie. Ippatsu. Ippatsu, that's what it is. That's all I get. Just two. Ugh. Damn, not every day you start off with three dragon tiles. This is mine to lose. Here we go again. Seven tiles. And someone's already chucked away a four. We got this. Oh, God. I still don't know if I'm going to make up to my 25... You son of a bitch. Well... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, now oh, I can't even afford a plate, I'm gonna need to beat it out of some thugs. Hi, do you guys have any silver plates? Oh man, I still want to play pachinko, but I gotta go to work now, and the pachinko place will be closed by the time I get off. Why don't you try 777 Town, man? It's the best way to play away from the parlor. 777 Town, what's that? With 777 Town, you can play Pachinko or slots on your PC. They've got over 100 types of machines, too. You can play as much as you want on over 100 machines? Seriously? And you can play from your phone, too. Pretty sweet, don't you think? I gotta check this out. I've just been playing Fruit Ninja because it's 2010, and that's what people did back then. <laughs> it's time to go for me to get back to Pachinko full time. 777 Town? Sounds like something the girls at the club might be into. Okay, but will any enemies spawn at this juncture because obviously you know tutorial I haven't had it yet oh man is this the point where I just save scum and reload my save I'm not getting beat up because there's so much cops around wandering protecting me wherever I go hi right, you okay there lady you're just applauding a poster of some girls how can I become a hostess oh uh, well you're gonna have to talk to the lifeline of Kamurocho. I just happen to be the parasite of Kamurocho. Yeah, different title. I know it's easy to get them interchanged. All right, I'll admit it. There's a father who's worked overtime this week and is recording this at two in the morning. I gave up and <laughs> reloaded my save. I need my money back, damn it! I was hoping to do it the legitimate way, but no. I am weak. I'm not strong enough. So I'm gonna buy some fake plates, okay? Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? I'm here to buy and advance the story, please. What would you like to purchase? Where are they? Fake silver plate. Oh, they're only 200 yen. <laughs> I still couldn't afford it after dropping 25,000 on some mahjong sticks. Thank you very much. Something tells me these guys aren't going to be happy about it. Well, too bad. He said he doesn't care where I get them from. Hey. Hey, Tiny Mursan. You got those two silver plates yet? Yeah, I got them. Got him right here. He handed over two fake silver plate. Hey, wait a sec. These are total knockoffs. True, but for all intents and purposes, they're still silver plates. Never said anything about quality. Really? You're gonna do me dirty like that? Hey, I tried. I fucking tried, okay? But I got swindled at the intermediate table. Okay? They were playing like grandmasters over there. They were. They were. Uh, what do you call it? They were smurfing. Really? You gotta do me dirty like that? And you call yourself a cop? <laughs> yeah, a dirty cop. Hey, I get you your plates. You tell me what you know. That was our agreement. You came up with it yourself. You should've asked for cold hard cash, you numbnuts. Oh, man, you suck. But whatever. Should've known better than to try and pull one over on you. Okay, so the other guy at the table yesterday? 
His name's Ida. Yep, that's your guy. Can't say we know him that well, but we do see him around every so often. He mentioned he didn't have a traditional job, per se, but he works at the Shifuku parking lot. Not Mr. Try and Hit Me. Oh, the one over on Shichifuku and Senryo? Yep, that's the one. Now, I don't know what he does over there, but he did say that's where he makes his Mahjong money. So I guess he must be doing something right. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Oh, but be warned, he was super pissed off that you left yesterday. Said you weren't going to get away with what you did and other crazy stuff. Yeah, he was kind of freaking me out. Well, he was kind of freaking out, honestly. Nah, don't, he wasn't freaking me out. I'm a brave boy. He's a pretty big dude, too. Wouldn't want to be in his way when he's mad. Anyway, that's pretty much all we got on him. That's more than enough. Guess I'll swing by the Shichifuku parking lot and pay our friend Ida a little visit. See if he's the guy who narked on me. Yikes, sucks to be him. Anyway, come back again and give us another shot at you, yeah? It's only fair. <laughs> sure. Happy to take your money anytime. Um, as long as I play on the beginner's table with you. Because it sure as shit, I'm not going to play with the intermediate boys again. Hi. Yeah. What are you doing? Hmm? Playing pachinko? Mm -hmm. Pachinko? On your phone? <laughs> yeah. It's called 777 Town. You haven't heard of it? It's an app that lets you play pachinko with slots on your phone or anywhere. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Let me try. No way. Don't you have a date soon? And by soon, I mean like, now? Oh, come on. Just one game, then I'll go. 777 Town, sounds like something the girls at the club might be into. That's twice we've heard about it. Are you gonna talk about it too? You know that guy over at the Shichifuku parking lot? No. What guy? There's this guy who pays people prize money if they can hit him. Pops up in Kaburocha from time to time. Well, I hope he's, uh, honed his skills. Really? You should give it a try. I mean, you're always talking about how good you are at all that mixed martial arts stuff. Are you kidding me? No way. The dude's got insane footwork. No one ever lands a punch. I watched a half dozen guys take him on, and not one even managed to graze him. That is impressive. I think I'll go see him in action later. Yeah, you really should. The parking lot he's in is over by the one... by that one Yakiniku restaurant. Which uh, has stood the test of time, Conroy has. It's, but uh, there's always a chance Majibo will drive a dump truck through it. And I was just thinking how this game started and it was like pouring rain in Kamarojo. Now we've got like a semi decent good day today. Overcast, but decent day nonetheless. Hey, did you m mention a Mr. Try and Hit Me? Who or what is that? Yeah, I was just talking about him. He first showed up in Kamarojo about four or five years ago. He goes around offering prize money to anyone who can land the punch on him. Wow. Is he really that good? I've never seen the guy lose, but I've heard he's been beaten a few times and it's always by the same person. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if this Mr. Try and Hit Me is the Eda guy I'm looking for. Could be. Wow, he's promoted himself from sub story to main story. Hey, haven't I seen you before? Yes, I remember. I saw you speaking to someone in a foreign language. He must be quite the polyglot. How many languages do you know? Jewel's upbringing and occupation, Tanimura is well versed in Asian languages. Tanimura is also a resident of Little Asia. Oh my god. Little Asia's adopted son. No wonder we're the parasite of Kamurocho. He considers the staff of Homeland to be his second family and could use the restaurant as a hideout. Homeland. Is that a restaurant inside Little Asia? Huh? You know most of the Asian languages? Really? Then I bet you could hold a conversation with anyone who lives here. Yeah, and I can get 500 XP. Oh my, is that my health bar? It is tiny as hell, what the heck? I think we need to have some yakiniku. Goodness. What's everyone looking at? You can tell that my voice is still a little bit shaky, I'm so sorry. Doing my best out of here, folks. Hey, you. What's this? Challenger? Finally, someone around here actually has some balls. I go by Mr. Try and Hit Me. Job's in the name. Hit me in under a minute, you get 50,000 yen. Only costs three grand to play. Want to give it a shot? Well, he doesn't seem to recognize me. Hell no. Do I not look familiar to you? Oh shit! You're that Mahjong monster! Bingo. Now look, I have some questions for you. Got a few moments? Nope, don't know nothing! And I definitely didn't rat you out to the superior officer either, so why don't you scurry on back to Donut Patrol? 
That was an oddly specific denial. You're not very bright, are you? But thanks for saving both of us the time. That's the part where I teach you a lesson for being such a sore loser. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Can't touch this, baby. You gotta be kidding me. It ain't no joke, jackass. They used to call me the Artful Dodger back in the day because my footwork alone is a masterpiece. So get ready, because for the very first time in Kamurocho history, Mr. Try and Hit Me is going to try and hit you. This is going to be some groundbreaking shit right here. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be handing you on... I'll be handing you your ass in under a minute. Take your hot shit, huh? Alright then. Game on! Okay. Try and hit me. Mr. Street Thug. Let's find out how we fight. L1 again. To parry! Like that. Ooh! Oh my god, we are Mr. Try and hit me now. I can just hold it down. Is that it? Okay. So I parry for like the first second. And then it goes to block. Ah, I like it. I like it. Two more times. Any attack? Even the hop kicks? Nice. Defeat all remaining enemies. Okay. More uh, traditional fighting style compared to Akiyama and Saijima. Ooh, wow. I'm so sorry. Just to try and hit me, you just got hit in the balls. Certainly wasn't expecting that to happen, was he? And he didn't even hit me. Oh, God. Sorry, pal. I just cost you your business. Shit. How about it? Want to try again? Sorry for running you out. I won't do it again. Damn right you won't. Why'd you do it in the first place? Well, it's like this. I've been living as Mr. Try and Hit Me for years here in Kamurocho. But there's this one scary looking guy in a gray suit who challenges me to a fight every year. And every year I end up losing. Each time I train harder than before. I, ha I train harder before fighting him again, but I can't seem to beat him. So I started playing Mahjong to take my mind off it, but I ended up getting hooked. Turns out I'm pretty damn good. Too bad your uh, mental defenses aren't as good as your evasiveness. Just when I started thinking Mahjong might be a good way to make a living, you had to come along and spoil the fun. I lost a shitload of money to you. So I was pretty pissed. What with the Mr. Try and Hit Me thing and the Mahjong thing all going all to hell. So I picked up the phone and, yeah. Anyway, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Do your worst, I don't care. <laughs> just, just hit me. <laughs> ah, I'm over it. What? I'm saying you're free to go. After all, it's not like you're still out to get me. And besides, I got a few good punches in. Let's just call it even. Oh, uh, uh, uh okay. Thanks, pal. Just watch it. Wrap me out again, and you won't get off so easy. Yes, sir. I wouldn't dream of it. Right. Well, at least I got to work out some aggressions. <laughs> Even though I was parrying half the time. Incoming message from HQ. Report of fighting at Theater Square. Officers in the vicinity head to crime scene. Fighting in Theater Square... I swear, petty incidents like this never end. I guess it's close by. I'll have a look. Theater Square is close by to the parking lot? You're kidding me, Tiny Mora. Oh, I suppose it is when you teleport directly here. Sorry! Shut up, bitch! You're the one that started this, and now you just want to back out? You owe me money! Alright, that's enough. I'll let this one slide if you disappear, and quick. Huh? You got a problem? Maybe I'll just kick your ass and collect what I deserve from you instead! Good luck. Just the one guy? This isn't even a tutorial, I'm just beating up one dude. I feel bad. Alright. Getting a few good kicks into the nether regions. Ugh. Ugh. You're no joke. Who the hell are you anyways? I'm Tony Mora, a detective here in Camarach. Shit! Fucking cops. Watch your mouth and get the hell out of here. Arresting punks like you is a waste of my time. Right! Consider me gone! Thank you. You saved me. No worries. I was just passing by. Don't think too much of it. But you should watch your step from here on out. Yes, sir. I apologize for the trouble. I'll be more careful in the future. Good. Just run past the people who stand still and patrol in a triangle format. Takes care of that. 
Looks like you cleaned that up quite nicely. Is this our uh, mentor? And you are? Oh, I apologize. I am Akashi. Here representing the Kamarocho Guard. Kamarocho Guard? Oh, the volunteer group doing a community watch type of thing? You know us? Well, it's nice to meet you, Tiny More Son. Huh? How did you know my name? Working in the area has made me really knowledgeable about the local police. And boy, have I heard a lot about you. <sighs> I'm almost certain it's nothing good. Anyways, nice work back there. You resolved the situation by being the first on the scene and handled things expediently. I just came by because I was in the area and heard about it on my radio. Our group gives its all to maintain the peace here in Camarocho. But with a pleasure district this big, even our combined efforts can't co cover all the problems that arise. That's for sure. Plus, and I'm not sure why, there's been some mystery group trying to interfere with us lately. The nature of our work requires we put ourselves in harm's way. But now we have people actively working against us. Our ranks are thinning. Hmm, that's not good at all. Which is why I have a favor to ask you. Would you mind lending us a hand? Huh? Keeping the peace is technically my job, but I don't think I could just up and join your group. Yeah, especially because you're not paying me anything. It's voluntary work. Uh, so, I, you know... I could use the donation. You won't actually... You won't have to actually join. Just help out once in a while. Our goal is to resolve incidents like the one you just dealt with. We want to make Kamarocha safer for everyone. To do that, we need the assistance of police like you. That know much more than we do about the area. We'll use our funds to reward you, depending on how many incidents you are able to resolve. This isn't easy for me to say, but we've heard rumors you are financially in need pretty often. Gee, thanks. Anyways, we'll pay you a fair amount for your services. Do we have a deal? Mm, one thing bugs me. What is it? Well, you said you guys are volunteers, right? That's right. Then what's this about funds I'm hearing? Huh? Volunteer groups usually just barely scrape by. That is, unless they have some strong organization backing them. Well, if you can't say, that's fine, I guess. Not like I have anything to lose. Thank you, Tony Morrison. You can come by and help whenever you have the time. Well, we won't force you to do anything you don't want to. Alright. But only when I hear something's on the radio and have some spare time. Really? Thank you very much. So I go to you for the reward money, yeah? Yes. I'm usually here at Theater Square. Contact me once you've resolved a couple of cases. You don't mind me collecting a bit on the side from the people I help, right? Uh, <clears throat> I have no issues with that, even though I started the sentence with an ellipses. Roger that. This is going to be such a big help. Thanks again. Well, as long as they are working for the benefit of Kamarocha, it won't hurt to help out. Police scanner. Nice. Hello? Hey. Macha, I run into a little problem here. Would you mind stopping by the restaurant? Okay, you're right there. Thanks. See you in a bit. I wonder what Zhao's gotten mixed up in now. The easiest way to Zhao's place, homeland, is to cut in front of East Taihei Boulevard. Looks like we're going to Little Asia. KPD Central Dispatch Public Intoxication and Violence Report in front of the Millennium Tower. Well, shit, I'm already on my way. It's right in front of me. Oh god, dude, no, you can't- why are you day drinking? In the middle of the street? Looks like all the ruckus tired him out. Hey, sir, wake up. You're liable to catch a cold sleeping out here. And also, you're liable to get arrested. Well, oh, leave me alone. People are going to trip over you. Come on, get up. Ugh, just get away from me! Can't you see I'm trying to sleep here? In the middle of the day, dude, come on, you don't even have a blanket. Should at least cover your head. Alright, let's do this. Street justice! Alright, sweet dreams with those busted balls of yours. I'm sure you're gonna have quite a refreshing nap. Get it out of your system? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I really had a few too many. Uh, maybe if I let you have this, you won't have to take me in. Oh, it's a thousand yen. Thank you. I could buy a lot of silver plates with this amount of money. I'm wondering if those events are randomized or if there's like a set list of them to complete. And I gotta complete them all. Oh. Someone's on the lookout for me, even though there's a police officer right in front of him. Thankfully, we dodged conflict altogether. Ah, Little Asia. Yes. This neat little nook. 
No one's guarding the entrance this time. Got it. Oh god, I remember how narrow these freaking alleyways were. Oh, this is such a neat little, uh, long take. Walking our way through Little Asia. It's called that because the alleyways are narrow. <laughs> oh, we made it. ゲキアドヤ。またですか、谷村さん。うん。もう相場プレイトマニー。今月2回目ですよ。月1回って約束でしょ。勘弁してください。先週入った女、ホリアンだろ。留学生か。Looks <笑> ジュロビザ持ってない外国人が日本で働くのはもちろんだけど。そうと知ってて雇うのも不法就労助長っつう犯罪なの知ってた。捕まれば3年以下の懲役。もしくは300万円以下の罰金。勘弁してくださいよ
Either way, we don't need another gang war in this city. Oh, it's not just the Tojo clan. I hear the Ueno Sewa is involved. Ueno Sewa? Wait, isn't that... Yeah. The same clan my dad was investigating after the Yoshiharu Ueno hit. Right around when he was murdered. Oh, okay. Your dad was investigating the the hit that Saijima was responsible for. You think this is connected somehow? Can't say. All I know is the Ueno Sewa clan's been quiet for 25 years. But now there's this shooting a week ago, and suddenly they've gone into overdrive? Something's definitely up. Hmm. Why, after 25 years, are they finally, like, making a move? Following this case could lead me to someone who knows the truth about who killed my dad. Still looking for that woman? Yeah. Yasuko Saijima. Her brother Taiga's the one who carried out the hit on Ueno. She's been missing ever since that went down. And you really think this Yasuko Saijima knows why your father was killed? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck you. No, that's, that's the departed quote. But the last thing written in his notebook was, Meet with Yasuko Saijima. That has to mean something. So she might even be the last person who saw him alive. Whoa, okay. Alright. This is getting spicier by the second. Is this Tanimura? Yeah, speaking. And this is Park, the manager at Midori. Midori? That fake persona person on Twitter that was giving fake leaks? <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, no, no, no. It's the Korean salon. Uh, uh, what do you want? Can you come here as soon as possible? Why, the police raiding the place or something? No, nothing like that. It's about that woman you've been looking for. Someone who looks just like her is here right now. Are you serious? That's why I'm calling. Hurry up, before she leaves. Okay, be right there. Are we getting some overlapping time periods? Could be. Something wrong? I knew it. That killing set something in motion. Zao-san, I think I found her. Wait, the woman we were just talking about? <laughs> I don't know if it's really her, but I've got no reason to doubt it. Thanks for manifesting her. I see. Then I suggest you be careful. You think? I'm serious. You're telling me this woman shows up out of nowhere right as the Ueno Sewa make their biggest ruckus in 25 years? The timing's too perfect. So you're saying she's involved somehow? Ah. Well, you're about to find out, aren't you? Now go. Find her before she disappears again. Right. Okay, will do. What's this map, anyway? With all the red dots. Yeah. You off and running already, Machan? Yep. Business as usual. You know how it is. Let us know if you need anything, okay? You know you're always welcome here. After all, we couldn't be called Homeland if we weren't your home away from home. Uh, that's sweet, Meihua. Thank you. Alright, hide out. Cool. But, we got a date with Psycho, I think. I wonder if the woman at Midori is the same one I've been looking for. Well... Oh god, substory right off the bat. Two million yen in one week? That's impossible! We just have to trust him. He'll be back to return the money. When? A million years from now? His room was completely empty! Your friend took you for everything you were worth! What's going on here? Listen to this! This good-for-nothing fool just ruined our whole lives! They'll take our restaurant unless we get two million yen by the end of the week! Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I don't get the full picture. One of my friends needed some money, but he didn't have anything for collateral, so... Boo. I offered everything I have, because I'm a good friend like that. That's no reason to put our restaurant on the chopping block! Really, how much of an idiot are you? How could I say no to helping out a friend in need? Help? The only help you've done is help ruin our business and destroy our livelihood! Yeah, I mean, Mr. Lee... <laughs> there's a certain point where you help a friend. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of like the whole oxygen mask put on your own before putting on others. Yeah, you can't really sacrifice everything you got to prop someone else up. Especially when uh, someone else has a vested stake in it. In this case, your wife. Oh, now what are we going to do? We worked our hands to the bone for years to get this place, and now we're going to lose it over nothing! 
Oh, I'm sorry. Honest to a fault, huh? So you got took for two million. That's a lot of money. I don't even think Zalsan has that much tucked away. What's all this commotion? Oh, Zalsan. Guess what happened to this guy? <laughs> he was a naive little bitch. And then he gave away his restaurant. I mean, can you believe it? Forks, knives, plates, and tables. Everything. Inside. All gone. It's just as your wife says. There are limits to what you can do for people. Can't you use some Asian gateway funds? No way! We don't have two million lying around. And I just taught this guy like, What? I'm going back on the lesson I just taught this guy. <laughs> if I sacrifice all the money I've got. Yeah, I figured as much. The only other thing I can think of is gambling. The two million's a dicey proposition. Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. I am. <laughs> Especially because, you know, <laughs> I lost at Mahjong, and that's not completely gambling, is it? So, I think I just need a game where it's pure luck, and I don't have to think. Do you know of any, uh, underground casinos? Somewhere with really high stakes. This is Lee's doing, Mahjong. You don't have to go that far out of your way to help him. Again, you're going back on the lesson I just taught him. Well, I couldn't help him even if I wanted to with my salary. But there's nothing wrong with earning a quick buck at the tables, right? If that's your decision, then I won't complain. But I've been worried about you getting into gambling, regardless of all the help you've given us. That's why I haven't told you. Tell me why. I hear there's an underground casino in Camarocho. People call it the Dragon Palace. There's another one uh, in Purgatory, but you gotta open a manhole to get there. Really? Do you know where it is? Only that it's somewhere on Park Boulevard. That's a start. I'll go look for it. Thank you. Yes, really, thank you. Don't worry about it. Besides, we're talking about gambling here. There's a strong chance I'll lose, so don't get your hopes up yet. But if I do manage to win, that'll just mean you have luck on your side, right? Sir, you're wonderful. Ah, well, I'll be back. <laughs> Call me wonderful when I've got the money. So, the Dragon Palace is somewhere on Park Boulevard, huh? I should go have a look. <laughs>